Have you ever wondered why so many cybersecurity experts, hackers and even giant companies trust Linux over Windows? If Linux is open source, meaning anyone can see the source code, doesn't that make it easier to hack? And if Windows hides its code, doesn't that automatically make it safer? Well, today we're going to dive into one of the biggest debates in the world of technology. Is Linux really more secure than Windows? Let's break this myth look at real-world examples and explain why the truth is far more interesting than you might think. Part number 1. The misconception. Most people assume that closed source equals secure. Windows doesn't show its code so attackers can study it, right? And Linux? It's open to everyone, so a hacker could just look at the code, find a bug and exploit it instantly. On the surface, this makes sense, but that logic is misleading. The truth is that hiding something doesn't make it safe. In cybersecurity there is a saying, security through obscurity is not real security. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's protected. Part number 2. Transparency versus obscurity. Think of it like this. Imagine a bank builds a new vault but doesn't let anyone see the design. Only the builders know how it works. Sounds safe. Well, not really. If the design has a flaw, nobody outside the company will ever know until a thief breaks in. Now imagine another bank publishes its vault design to the public. Engineers, locksmiths and security experts all over the world review it, test it and point out weaknesses. Every flaw gets patched and improved. Which world do you think is safer in the long run? The one hidden in secrecy or the one tested by millions of eyes? That's the power of open source. Transparency builds strength. Linux is reviewed by thousands of developers, researchers and cybersecurity professionals around the world every single day. Vulnerabilities are spotted faster and patched much more quickly. Part number 3. Real world examples. Let's look at history. In 2014, a huge vulnerability was discovered in OpenSSL called Hardblade. It shook the internet. But because OpenSSL was open source, once researchers found it, the community jumped in and patched it very quickly. Now compare that to Windows. The infamous WannaCry ransomware in 2017 spread like wildfire across the globe. It exploited a flaw in Windows SMB protocol, a flaw that had been there for years. And the worst part is that Microsoft knew about it, but patches were delayed and millions of systems were left vulnerable. The difference? Open source projects tend to get fixed fast because anyone can contribute. Closed systems rely on the company's internal team and patches can take months or even years. Part number 4. Speed of updates. Another reason Linux is considered safe is how updates work. Linux distributions release patches within hours or days after a vulnerability is found. Windows, on the other hand, usually waits until Patch Tuesday, a once a month event. That delay gives attackers more time to exploit flaws before fixes roll out. If you're running a critical server like a bank system or a hospital network, waiting weeks for a patch is a complete disaster. That's why companies that can't afford downtime choose Linux. Part number 5. User privileges. Here's something most beginners don't realize. The way Linux handles permissions is very different from Windows. For decades, Windows users often run their computers as administrators by default. That means malware had the same level of access as the user, basically full control. That's why viruses spread so easily on Windows. Linux is stricter. By default, you don't have root or super user privileges. To make big changes, you need to type a password or intentionally give permission. If a piece of malware infects a Linux machine, it usually stays trapped in the user space and can't take over the entire system unless you, the user, granted root access. This design philosophy makes Linux inherently harder to compromise. Part number 6. Hacker motivation. Now let's address something practical. Why hackers even bother targeting Windows more? Think about it. Over 17% of desktops in the world run Windows. Only 2-3% to of people use Linux on their personal computers. If you're a cyber criminal writing malware, you want the biggest return on your investment. Why waste time building a Linux virus when the average victim probably doesn't even run Linux? 
Yes, Linux dominates servers, cloud infrastructure and even Android, but those systems are usually managed by skilled admins who know what they're doing. It's simply a tattered target compared to the average Windows user who might click on a shady email attachment. So it's not just about security design, it's also about economics. Hackers follow the money. Part number 7. Why experts trust Linux? Cybersecurity professionals, ethical hackers and system administrators overwhelmingly prefer Linux. Why? Because it gives them transparency, control and flexibility. For example, there is no hidden code, that means that there are no secret backdoors. If something looks suspicious, anyone can audit the source. Thousands of contributors from students to experts at Google and Red Hat constantly approve the system. Then Linux comes with built-in security frameworks like SE Linux and AppArmor plus powerful firewalls and monitoring tools. Also, government and intelligence agencies have accused Microsoft of building secret access points for surveillance. With Linux, vectors would be nearly impossible to hide, since the source code is public. It's not that Linux can't be hacked, of course it can, but the design and culture around it make it far more resilient. Part number 8. Balanced View Now let's be fair, Windows has improved a lot of things in recent years. Features like Windows Defender, user account control and improved patching have made it much safer than it was in the early 2000s. And Linux is not magic. If a user installs shady software, uses weak passwords or misconfigures their system, they can still be hacked. Security always depends on the person behind the keyboard. But if you're comparing the default philosophies, Linux's open source, transparency and stricter permission system generally give it the edge. Part number 9. The final answer. So back to the question. If Linux is open source, doesn't that make it easier to hack? The answer is no. In fact, it's the opposite. Because it's open, vulnerabilities are found faster, fixed faster and tested by a global community. Closed source hides the problems, sometimes for years, and relies on the company to fix everything. That's why supercomputers, web servers, cloud providers and cybersecurity experts overwhelmingly choose Linux. It's not about being unhackable, nothing is unhackable. It's about being prepared, patched and resilient. And Linux simply does that better. So next time someone tells you Linux is less secure because it's open source, well, you'll know the truth. Transparency doesn't make it weak. It makes it stronger. If you enjoyed this deep dive, click that like button, subscribe for more cybersecurity content and tell me in the comments. Do you personally trust Linux or Windows more and why? I'll be reading every answer. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.